everybody. I'm so glad to see you today. Remember, today's Thursday, and when you watch the video, I will get the green check mark, which shows me that you watched it. And here at school, I will check you off, okay? So, remember to get everything ready. It doesn't matter what supplies you have, but it'll clear an area so you can get ready. If you're here at school, make sure your laptops and everything's up and clear your desk for me, okay? Remember, I will start the class by counting five, four, three, two, one, ready. And I'll ring the bell twice. That means stop talking, stop working. It's time to put everything away, okay? So let's get started. Five, four, three, two, one, ready. Okay, you did such a good job last week. I'm so proud of all of you and all the pictures that you sent in. Well, today we're gonna start making some Indians because we're coming up to Thanksgiving. And while we learn to draw our Indian faces, this is a portrait. Remember when I asked you to hold your paper? This is portrait, this is landscape. That is because a portrait is of a person's face, like your school pictures are a portrait. And they usually just show, show the tops of our shoulders. I, when I get my school picture, I never have to worry about what pants I have on but I do have to worry about what shirt I have on, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to draw a face. And a lot of times kids will tell me, I can't draw a face. Yes, you can. I'm gonna teach you how to do it. Now, does it have to be perfect? Absolutely not. But I do want you to try your best, okay? So don't start drawing yet. I want you to watch first, okay? So when we go to draw the face, and where did I just put my, there it is, I found it. Let's move this paper a second. If you take your finger and go around your face, it's not a circle, is it? It's more like an oval. If it was a circle, it would be Charlie Brown. Whoops, that was kind of a funny oval. A face is not a circle. Oh, you can't see that up there, can you? Where can you see it? A face is not a circle. We're then gonna put the headband on our Indian. The headband is where the, your forehead is. So I'm gonna put my headband. Uh, eyes are not round circles. These are not eyes, not round circles. They're like lemons or almonds or jumping lines. To make the eyes, you go jump, jump. It's kind of like a lemon. Jump, jump. It's like a lemon. Then I can put my circle and my eyeball in my eye. Now we have eyebrows. And we also have eyelashes. Now, I understand. Every time I put eyelashes on, people go, oh, it's a girl. Well, guess what, boys? You have eyelashes too. But I understand. If you don't want to put eyelashes on it, you do not have to put eyelashes on it. If you want to make it a girl, you can put an eyelashes on it. But boys, I want you to know, you have eyelashes too. And you know what? Sometimes your eyelashes are so beautiful. Um, oops. Not a straight line. And a nose is not a circle. Well, you can't see there. I was putting it down here. We're gonna make it like a, a J backwards or a fishing hook, some kids say, okay? Either way you wanna go, I start at the top and go down or like an upside down question mark, uh, however you think to describe that. Now, here's the secret to a mouth. We're not doing that. Watch what I'm gonna do. 
a straight line. Now right here on the top of your mouth, there's a little indention. It goes up, down, and up. So I'm gonna go up, oops, up, down, and up. And then the bottom is a jumpy line. Now again, I have a lot of boys say, but that looks like a girl. So if you want to make your lips like this, you can. But just know that lips have this little indention right there at the top. And you can look in the mirror and see yours there too. Boys, you have it too, but I understand. You can put eyelashes if you want, or you can leave it plain. You can make your mouth like this, or you can make your mouth like that, okay? Uh, I need ears and they're in the same place. So try to get them right across from each other. Okay. We have a neck and then because it's a portrait, we're going to draw the shoulders all the way down to the corner, all the way down to the corner. Cause that's a portrait. Uh, I'm going to put a V neck. Uh, to make feathers for my Indian, I'm going to put a straight line and a jump and a jump. And you can put the diagonal lines inside for the feather. A straight line, a jump, and a jump. And diagonal lines inside. A straight line, jump, and a jump. And diagonal lines. Okay, and you can put feathers. I can decorate the headband. Any kind of line I want. Now, a lot of Indians wore braids. If you want to put boys just short hair, you can. Put X's for braids. And a lot of boy Indians wore braids too. Or girls, if you want to put two braids, you can put two braids. Okay, you can make it however you want. Now, a lot of Indians put symbols on their faces. They would put a heart, they were the teachers. They would put a sun if they helped plant the crops. They would put a fish if they helped with the fishing. They would put a teepee if they helped with the teepees and keeping the house clean. Uh, so you, oh, the arrow was if they wanted to help with the hunting. So you can think of two symbols that you want to use or two symbols that you want to make up that you want to put on your Indian. I'm going to put a heart because I'm a teacher and I'm going to put a plant because I like to work in the garden. Okay, you can use one, you can make up your own or you can just put line designs if you want to. Remember, it's your Indian, how you want to make it. Okay, so Let's get our paper. You can draw with markers, with crayons, whatever you want to draw with. I'm gonna draw mine with a black marker. So you ready? Let's go. We don't want a circle. Remember, the face is a oval. So I'm gonna draw my oval. Good job. We're gonna go ahead and add the neck and come all the way down to the corner. Wow, that was awesome. Let's put the face on. We don't want circle eyes, right? Remember, they're like lemons. They're jumping lines. But before we can put the eyes, we have to put the forehead. And to do that, we will put our headband. Okay, now the jumping lines. Ready? Jump, 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 jump. Then I can add my circle. Then I can add my circle. And I'm gonna go ahead and color the inside of my eye because 
I have my black. We don't want a dot for a nose, we're not a pig. Remember an upside down J or a fishing hook or upside down question mark. And I have a nose, okay? The mouth, remember there's two ways you can make it. Oh, girls, if you want eyelashes. Oh, I forgot the eyebrows, didn't I? And the eyelashes. I'll turn this one into, it's a boy or a girl, because boys and girls have eyelashes. The mouth is a straight line. It's a jumping line on the bottom. And the top has a little jump in the middle. Okay, and remember, boys, if you prefer to go like this, you can. And if you prefer your eyes not to have eyelashes, you can do that too, okay? Um, I'm gonna put, a, oh, ears. The feathers, a straight line and a jump and a jump. Straight line, jump and a jump. Straight line, jump, and a jump. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to give a V-neck, and a lot of Indians wore shells. So I'm going to make a shell, and a lot of times they wore the, the tooth from a fish, or a wolf, or a fox, or a buffalo. Okay, so if you want to put a tooth on your necklace, you can do that too. If you want braids, you can add X's. You can have one braid, two braids, three braids, whatever you want. Then remember, you can pick two things that you want to be in charge of or to be the helper with or what you like to do. See, this one, I want to help with the fish. And I want to help with the teepees. Okay, uh, remember on this one, I did a heart and a plant. You could put a sun, arrows, or you could just put line designs, whatever kind of design you want. You also could put a design on your headband. Now, you can use your markers, your crayons. Uh, this one, I used my watercolor paint. This one, I used... Um, my washable markers and then I wet it and it made it like paint. That was kind of fun and cool. This one, I think I am going to use this one with my markers. And I, again, you can use any colors you want. You can color in all the different designs that you made, all the different patterns and color it in as many colors as you want. and decorate your Indian. Um, I like the zigzag pattern. Ooh, I think I'm gonna go with green. I got the yellow, but now I changed my mind. I'm gonna go with green. And you can make your Indian any way you want, okay? So, I can't wait to send you, see your pictures. So let me see your Indians. Let me see what your different symbols are that you put on them, okay? And have a wonderful time making it. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just try your best. You're doing awesome, okay? Bye. I'll see you next week.